perfect. Finally arrived. What's up, everyone? So, right now, um, just getting the car washed. It's always fun to kind of sit in the car and watch it get washed. Um, so, this video is going to be about transforming your car's look from something a little older to something a little more modern um, with one little simple thing, and that's an antenna mount. Um, I'm going from the old school style antenna that has like a little stand on it to a shark fin antenna ordered a couple weeks ago it arrived and now i'm going to show you guys how to put that on all right so if you're ready here we go oh watch this that's always fun <laughs> all right so this is uh the sound of the radio before I switch the antenna. So. All right, so you can hear the clarity. All right, so this is the old antenna before the switch. You can see it's got the large mount and the antenna sticking out of it, old school style. I'm gonna be switching over to the new. I'll give you a shot of that once that's installed. All right, let's see what was included in the package to make sure that we don't need any tools. We get the shark fin. We get the 3M double sided tape to mount it. Some, some hardware here to fasten it to the old antenna mount. That's it. So it looks like the only thing we really need is uh, maybe a pair of pliers. Okay, so your first step, of course, obviously, is you want to remove your old antenna. Most of them are gonna be loose enough to do by hand. Mine happens to be hand tight. So I'm just gonna turn it counterclockwise to remove it. And that'll expose where the new uh, mount stud will go. All right, and that's what it looks like after you get your old antenna off. And you don't have to remove the base for this, uh, this particular uh, shark fin. And I would recommend um, holding on to your old antenna just in case. Um, you never know, for some reason this may may or may not, but if it fails um, or gets knocked off or something like that, you want to be able to keep your reception uh, to your radio. So keep your old antenna, all right? Just store that somewhere in your car. All right, so just so you can see the comparison, this is um, after the original antenna was removed and the new one hasn't been installed yet. So you can see you do lose reception when you take your antenna off. So just to point out, um, while I was preparing the surface to mount the antenna and uh, getting my materials and stuff together, I laid this double-sided tape here on the dash under the sun so they can get a little warm. Um, that'll help it stick a little bit better to the uh, mounted spot on the roof of your car and to the actual antenna. So um, I'm just letting that sit in here probably not absolutely necessary but it'll help with the um, adhesion of the double-sided tape all right so now while the 3m double-sided tape is getting warm i'm gonna go ahead and get the hardware in place just three pieces and simply just want to the screw like I said you only really need to do this to get it hand tight all right you can drop on one of the nuts here until it stops and you just want to slip on the connector 
And then tighten on the second nut to this ball here. And that's it. Wait a minute. This thing will fit. So anyway, let that be a lesson in getting the proper measurements before you place an order for something. Could have sworn I did it right, but I got a feeling I got sent the wrong part. So if anybody has the need for a swap of an antenna, um, you want to convert your car to the shark fin antenna, hit me up. And on that note, peace.